as I mentioned before, we are enjoying a tremendous um, afternoon here at WUKY as WUKY and Project Ricochet presents the Urban Art Collective Gallery Opening. And we have another guest in our studio today, and I'm going to let him introduce himself and also tell us a little bit about what you do, sir. Hello, hello. My name is Terry Dumford. I am the founder of the Voyage Movement. I'm also a board member of uh, Project Ricochet, and I am one of the community health workers on the Barbershop Initiative. Well, tell us a little bit more from your perspective about the Barbershop Initiative. I mean, I think it's ingenious, I mean, because of what the Barbershop means to our community. So to be able to infuse health topics, health conversations, um, what better place to have these conversations and then possibly save lives, you know, in the midst of these conversations. So I love it. Well, you know, and I will just say that it just seems like even no matter if you're in a barbershop or if you're in a hairstylist, that there's a lot of therapy that goes on there, right? And we call yeah. it therapy in, in my world. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> We're going to share our stories like and that. also help each other. But let me ask you from the perspective of being here today, and I see you're wearing some Tony Wavy apparel. Wavy. <laughs> and you're experiencing all this art. We're getting ready to listen to some great music. Um, what do you feel like you are enjoying the most? most about today i think it's the um the collaborations and the connections with the culture like infusing the art with the music and then with the health i mean it's a perfect gumbo of you know synergy that i think we um you know we kind of i think are headed in the best direction for our community you know if we continue to create uh events like this awareness that we're doing I think our community is going to be in a, a great shape in the next five years. What do you think this means for the community of Lexington and also in the work that you do, Terry? I mean, it's very important. I mean, for us and the work I do, you know, we thrive off community partnerships. And I think this barbershop initiative is a great example of community partnerships because we can't do it without the barbers. So those partnerships lead into other partnerships. Um, I'm able to bring in some of my community partners into the mix. And um, one of the main things we like in our community is unity. So common unity. So now we're having common things to build unity around. And I think you're going to see that in our community over the next few years. Uh, it's just going to be something that's organically healthy for the community. What do you think that music and art does for the soul? It brings it alive. Yeah. I mean, you know, because it allows you to express it no matter how your soul or your, or your feeling. I mean, it's authentic. Um, even with art, you know, me and Tony were just talking about the colors you may use are going to, you know, it's going to let somebody know what how you're feeling. And then the tones in your own music and whatever it is you're expressing, that's going to let people know how you feel. And um, a lot of times it heals people. And I think the more I'm getting into the art, of it you know that's a, that's a healing property in that too it's one thing to just look at a picture hanging on a wall but i think it's another thing to be able to experience the artist right and yeah. talking about the process and i will just say i have no artistic ability like <laughs> whatsoever in in regards to drawing i should right, say right right me too but I... it has really made me kind of like want to learn more about it right yeah and, um, you know, and even just talking to Bryce earlier and watching him at the barbershop initiatives create oh, something man. from a blank piece of paper. Awesome. And it just, it, this is just an inspiring day for me and also to be able to talk to you about the wonderful work that you're doing for the community yeah, as well. appreciate and that. It's an honor to work with you. Yes, likewise. And one last comment. You just sparked something in me that I didn't realize. I have to, I, I'm a writer, right? So I express myself through that and I do music, but I've always wanted to learn how to draw. I got these amazing people. Why not tap exactly. into that? We need I, to have some like little sessions here, next, right? <laughs> my next event, I'm going to have a piece somewhere around here. I like that idea, and I'll be right there with you. How about that? <laughs> All right, we'll see. Y'all. Don't hold me to that, though. <laughs> well, thank you for being with us Man, here today. I appreciate you. Thank you for having me.